And we are back with head coach Sarah Testo. Owls fall today, four to one, the final. Uh, coach, what was your message to the team after the game today? Um, message was that we have to play more consistently. We can't have, you know, like like a Liz Shooten had a great game today, but we can't win with one player having a great game. We have to be consistent. Everybody has to show up and have good games to beat a good team like UMass Boston. Um, but uh, we have to focus on Plymouth because we're, we're you know, in a dire situation now just trying to get into the tournament. Uh, speaking of Elizabeth Shooten, as you mentioned, she had uh, the goal for you guys today. What have you liked specifically from her this season? She's just so much more dynamic. She's explosive. She's she's a hell of a player. She she, she played well today. Just you can't have one player do everything. You gotta it's got you gotta play as a team. You gotta gotta everybody be on the same page. And we just weren't today. We had a lot of girls that didn't have their best games. Um, and on the other side, uh, Sophia Shalmo especially is having a great freshman year uh, for UMass Boston. Had a couple goals against you today. What was kind of the plan of attack uh, for facing someone like her this afternoon? I guess it didn't work, right? <laughs> um, the, you know, the but, plan was, you know, she likes to shoot from out, out, you know, she likes to take the deep shot, don't let her turn. Um, we let her do that a few times. I mean, it really comes down to minimizing mistakes, and we actually had a lot of mistakes today, which caused probably all four of our goals. So you got to minimize mistakes to, to have a shot to win, and then obviously you got to score. Uh, your guys, your next game coming up will be Wednesday night here at the Owl Athletic Complex against Plymouth State. Uh, what are you guys looking forward to in that one, and not just in that one, uh, but your next few matchups as we get closer to the end of the season? Well, we're we're in a dire situation now. We're just trying to get in the tournament. Um, you know, every conference game is going to make or break you. So, you know, we're at the point now that if we continue to lose conference games, we're not going to make the tournament. All right. Uh, very tough loss today for Keene State against UMass Boston. But thank you so much, Coach Chesto, for joining us. And uh, we'll be right back here on the Owls Media Network. When we put this uniform on, we're preparing to serve our home state of New Hampshire. We serve part-time in our own communities and for our families and friends. In any emergency or disaster, you can count on the soldiers of the New Hampshire Army National Guard to be there. Our mission here at home is to make life better for everyone. And the benefits we earn help us improve our own lives. Learn more about part-time service with the New Hampshire Army National Guard at nationalguard.com slash nh. This afternoon's game on the Owls Media Network is brought to you by the New Hampshire Army National Guard. Visit nationalguard.com slash nh or call 1-800-GO-GUARD. New car Nissan of Keene, your premier new Nissan and used car dealership near Keene. Discover the new car difference. American Steel Fabricators, visit americansteelfab.com. Fenton Family Dealerships, the tri-state area's best selection of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Locally owned since 1986. Fieldstone Land Consultants, a professional engineering, land surveying, and environmental services company serving New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Vermont, and Maine. The Melanson Company, commercial and residential roofing since 1932. Engelberth Construction, we build relationships for life. Sullivan Tire, located on Winchester Street in Keene, we are always here to get you there. Noise Volkswagen, we look forward to guiding you on your Volkswagen journey. And by the Best Western Plus Hotel, located at 401 Winchester Street in Keene. So tough loss today for the Keene State Owls. They fall 4-1 to one to UMass Boston. Goal scored early on in the game by Elizabeth Shooten. Put Keene State out in front real fast, but a couple of goals. From Sophia Shalmo, who's having an outstanding freshman year, put the Beacons in front, and after that, they would not look back. They got a couple more thanks to Kaylee Sullivan first, but right before halftime. And then not too long after halftime, Catherine Brown made it the final four to one today, the final score of this game. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll look to see you in the next one. Next one will be here Wednesday night against Plymouth State at six o'clock. But for Ryan Goodwin, for everybody else on our crew, including Logan Peranto, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you Wednesday night. Have a great night.
You have been watching a Keene State Athletics broadcast on the Owls Media Network. Please tune in to our next broadcast and thank you for watching.